Hi everyone, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty. Today I have a shop with me at Ocean State Job Lot. Is this not just a stunning yarn? This is Mandala Fluffy. I've never seen or heard of this yarn before. It's $3.99, 3.5 ounces or 76 yards, 100% premium acrylic. Hand wash, lay flat to dry. It's a jumbo seven, a recommended hook of 15 millimeters. This is the color jellyfish, made in Turkey. Has anybody seen this before? It is just like tie-dye lusciousness. Do I agree it's a jumbo number seven? Mm. No, I feel like it's more like a six, but it's one of those fluffy yarns that you have to use a big hook with so that doesn't get like all compressed. But look at those rainbow colors, red, yellow, green, aqua, uh, blue, a couple shades of purple. Really beautiful. Look at how much they had. Quite a lot. Then they had this other shade that was more like Victorian muted colors with the greens, corals, whites, and that kind of slate blue color. Also equally pretty, but I did like the brighter colors of the other one more. This is Anemone. Is that not pretty? Here they are side by side. Which one do you like better? I definitely like the first one better. What would you guys make out of this, or have you seen it before? Oh, there's also this beautiful Valentine's Day color with white, pink, and purple, and mauve. Really, really pretty. And you know I'm not a pink fan. This is Pixie Hawk Fish. Weird. Kind of odd name, though. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Kim, and my channel is all about teaching you how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group, where I post about all my steals, deals, and freebies I find in my travels in the craft crafting world. This is Stitch Bird, 3.5 ounces, 131 yards, 80% acrylics, 20% uh, wool. It's a bulky five, and this is the color Kingfisher. So this is a piece of roving with a um, thread lightly kind of braided around it, for lack of a better term. <clears throat> there was two colors. This one is oranges, corals, blues, purple, and yellow. Kind of odd color combinations, if you ask me. This is the color Chickadee. I guess they're all bird names. Makes sense. Then they had this Dream Maker, which recently I've seen um, Evelyn from Pink Sheep Designs Hall, and she's like the queen of bulky yarn, so, you know, it's got to be good. Look at the colors. This is Charisma. It's a bulky five. Very pretty. I like the um, mixture of colors in there. Purple, aqua, coral. Really pretty. Then there also was this one which is more pastels. Pinks, aquas, blues, pinks, uh, like a red coral color. And this is magical. These were $2.99. Then there was this other one I've never seen before, which is like a super chunky roving with an even like less thick thread around it. And <clears throat> this is in the color tangy. This is Lion Brand's Quickie. 22 yards, 74 acrylic, 22 wool, 4% other fiber. Honestly, when I picked this up, the main thing I thought of, it's a uh, six, was if you are a spinner, can you make this into yarn? Like you just cut off that little thread and then isn't it just like roving? You could just spin into yarn. People who spin, let me know down below. So there was that beautiful purple color and those beautiful aut autumnal colors here with sage, orange, and white in the color Zesty. How pretty are those? There was only, I think, two of those and they were hidden in the back. Ooh, blues. Blue still my heart. Blues and creams. Is that not beautiful or what? This is the color Icy. Has anybody ever worked with this yarn before? These two colors kind of go well together, I think. Those would be pretty spun up together. 
What do you guys think? I think so. I do have a drop spindle, but I haven't really used it. Is this something that could be done on that? Spinners, please let me know. Let me have some just my stripe. Some chenille yarn and nice autumn colors again for $3. A 75 acrylic, 18 polyester, 7 nylon. It's a bulky 5. And the color opal. Not sure why this is called opal. Hmm. Kind of makes me think of a forest in the fall. Like evergreens and pine needles. But the ones on the floor, if that makes sense. For my local friends, um, this is the Ocean State job lot on Home Depot Drive in Taunton, Mass. <clears throat> Just my stripes, which I wish was more yardage, but it's not. It's blueberry. I will link down below my other Ocean State job lot shop with me's I've done recently if you guys want to see what some of the other stores had. Lots of Woolies roving still, which I'm shocked about. The Mandala Babies. Also at times Job Lot will have um, Insider Club coupons. And I believe this week that I was here, which is actually last week, was that Bounce Yarn, Boing, sorry, the Boing Yarn, the stretchy one that they have like tons of. Mandala Baby, Mandala Baby. I'd give a much closer look at all these in a previous video. This store still has quite a lot of sprightly yarn left. So that is the company Blueprints um, yarn. Blueprint went out of business and Job Lot got all their yarn, I think. Here's some Bernat Softy Baby by Yarnspirations. It's $2.99. It was only in this orange color. And it's the color Pumpkin. It was pretty soft. It's a three weight. 100% acrylic, 162 yards. Has this really weird thing on it on how to find the middle of a skein, which I need to try. Thanks, Yarn Inspirations. <laughs> really nice twist on that yarn. Kind of wish there was more of it. What else do we have? Ooh, something interesting over here. Uh, dimensions, uh, cr kind of cross stitch. Words to inspire. These are usually pretty expensive. It's got a nice black Ada cloth in it. And it was no price. Fun times. Here's a smaller kind of cross stitch. Um, this one was $3.99. And Dimensions is usually pretty pricey. Well, look at this. Felt Art Kits, $3.99. Now, these came with everything you needed. Well, look at that koi. $3.99 on that one. Uh, it comes with everything you need. It comes with the foam, the punch needle, the roving, the whole nine yards. Pretty cool. And there's a tree of life. I was tempted to get one and try it, to be honest with you. They had a bunch of these Simply Scarves. And they also had a bunch of patches, which I haven't seen here before, which is kind of cool. School of Rock. Some, um piece patches, all different stuff. That was quite a assortment in there. Oh, Rigoletto, still hanging out. Uh, still some winter nights here. And also, monsters on a shelf. <laughs> I want to turn them into Sesame Street objects. <laughs> but that's just me. More roving on this side. Some very expensive DIY yarn. Fun fur. And a lot of different colors. Nice Valentine's Day colors there. Purple. Then there is a this thing. I say this thing. So it's been marked down. This used to be more expensive. Now it's 88 cents a skein. It's a super novelty yarn. It's got like pom-poms and faux fur. It's weird. It's been here for a long time. Touch of Angora. And they do mean like just a touch. 
95 nylon, 5% Angora, $3.99. Yeah. That is not a lot. And to be honest with you, wasn't that soft. That is light pink. Another touch of Angora and gray. All these ones on the left are a touch of cashmere, which again, I think is 10% cashmere or something. Not a lot. Okay, then this is the Boing yarn. Oh, sorry, Rebound. I don't know why I keep calling it Boing. Regularly $2.99. It was on sale for $1.99 if you had the rewards card. Limit, I think, $24 per household. I don't know what you'd do with this. Has anybody used this yarn before? What have you used it for? Because to me, it just seems like not worth the price, even at that price. Uh, there also is some um, Basic Stitch. And again, I've looked at these very closely in other job lot shop with me's. And I will link those down below, like I said. Oh, this blue and white is pretty. As well as, even though I'm not a fan of pink, the pink with the red. This purple homespun is pretty stunning. Not a big fan of homespun. But there was some nice colors. Ugh. Loop yarn. Here we go. Have a creative day, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>